In this video, we will review how to set advanced tea time booking restrictions in three areas. We will also review how to apply these rules to your members and guests using three different methods. Advanced booking restrictions can be set in any of these areas. Note that if you have indicated different advanced booking restrictions in different areas, the system will use the most restrictive number of days that have been applied. The first area we will review is golf courses. The setting changes made here will apply to the whole golf course. Select your club and select your course. Then click the online schedules button. Here you can review existing line numbers or create a new one. Here you can indicate when the tee sheet for this course will become available online for bookings. If nothing is stated here, the tee sheets will display online shortly after they are created in Jonas. To specify when the tee sheet should become available online, flag the days of the week that the course is open and allows for bookings online, and input how many days in advance of the tee times for that day that the tee sheets will become available for booking. Also indicate at what time of the day the tee sheet will become available. You can also optionally turn on calendar restrictions to have different restrictions based on the time of year. Click OK to save your changes. The second area we will review is golfer classifications. These rules control the advanced booking restrictions for each day of the week for this particular golfer classification. Go ahead and select your club and select an existing golfer classification or set up a new classification code. If you are creating a new classification, enter a code and a description. If the advanced booking restrictions differ for this golfer classification than what you've applied in the golf course online schedule, flag booking restrictions in effect and enter the number of days in advance that bookings can be made by this classification. You can also restrict what days of the week this classification is allowed to book a tee time, and you can restrict the first and last allowed tee time per day as applicable. If needed, use the advanced booking schedules button and select a line number or create a new line number where you can restrict how far in advance this classification can book by day and enable calendar restrictions as applicable. You can also restrict the schedule to a specific golf course. If you've made any adjustments, just make sure to click that OK button to save. Note that if you use the advanced booking schedules, you will need to uncheck booking restrictions in effect in order for your advanced booking schedules to take effect. The last area we will review is round of golf rules. Round of golf rules are most important when it comes to members making online bookings as these rules will be checked as soon as the member tries to access the tee sheet. Select your club and select an existing rule or set up a new rule. If you're creating a new rule, make sure to enter a code and a description. Click the options button and enable booking restrictions in effect and enter the number of days in advance this rule is allowed to book a tea time, if applicable. Click OK to save your changes. From here you can double click on a current rule to view the rule details, or click the rule details button, where you can go ahead and select your line number, or create a new one. Here you can restrict how many tea times can be booked for this rule during a specified period. If you select range, set the from and to dates accordingly. You can also apply this rule to specific golf courses. In this section, you can click the calendar icon to apply further restrictions for this rule, which are similar to the settings we saw in golfer classifications, where you specify the days of the week this rule can book a tee time for, set the first and last tee times, and calendar restrictions, as well as enable restrictions in effect if applicable. Click OK to save your changes. The Guest Round of Golf Rules program works similar to that of Rounds of Golf Rules for your members, and the setup is the same as the steps we just covered. Now that you've set up and or confirmed your advanced booking restrictions, you can apply these rules to your members and guests. There are three different ways you can apply these rules. The first and most popular option is to apply these rules by member status. Select your club and the applicable status. Then click the Tea Time Management Setup button. 
where you can go ahead and assign a golfer classification, round of golf rule, or guest rounds of golf rules as applicable. Click OK to save and repeat this process for any member statuses you need to apply or confirm the tee time rules for. The second option is to apply the rules on a member by member basement within the setup slash edit member program. Select your club as well as the member, then click the tee time management setup button where you can assign the golfer classification, rounds of golf, or guest rounds of golf rules as applicable. Click OK to save and repeat this process for any members you need to apply or confirm the rules for. Note that setting rules within the member file will override the rules applied to a member status and rules applied to fee billing schedules. Lastly, you can apply restrictions to fee billing schedules which are attached to member accounts. Select your club as well as the activity type and member category. Then go ahead and apply your rules accordingly and click OK to save your changes. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.